How's it going guys? My name is Dave Pulley. I'm a full-time eBay reseller. In this video, we're going to be talking about whether or not I should quit eBay. Let's get into it. Before I get into the video, guys, I really would appreciate a thumbs up, comment, or consider subscribing, guys. I'm putting a lot of effort into these videos, so if I give you guys some type of value, please consider dropping a like. Let's get into the video. Alrighty, guys, so I had a couple of comments on my last video and the last couple of videos of people telling me to basically quit eBay and stop doing this. Um, I had mentioned that I had an opportunity, I have an opportunity right now that I can go work in the oil field and make 100,000 without any stress of running the business. And a lot of people are like, oh dude, I would have been gone. Like, what are you doing still doing eBay with all the stress and, and all that stuff? Uh, you should just go get the 100,000 and play it safe. But yeah, guys, I think I have figured out the difference between people that stay right here uh, which is a normal level and the people that get to here. I realized the difference um, and I've seen it throughout my years of experience and I finally figured it out. Uh, I'm gonna be sharing a story that's a personal story from me when I was uh, one year removed out of high school, I went to a technical school that was basically a 12 step technical school. Each step was six weeks of uh, schooling or something like that, don't quote me, maybe it was six steps or something like that, but I remember I remember every class was six weeks long and in order to go on to the next step, you needed to go to the school for six weeks and pass all the tests, right? And basically like in week six, um, I had failed back in the day and I was super depressed because in those six weeks, you basically start with a whole group of people and I was in Oklahoma. So those were all my friends that had made in Oklahoma. I was completely alone out there. So they moved forward without me and I got held back. So I was really sad about that. But I remember some of my friends that were there, they pretty much told me, oh bro, I would have been gone. Like, what are you still doing here? Like, you should just go home. Uh, you should just quit because I failed that one class. And that literally like tore my heart out because I, I was literally actually second guessing myself. I was like, okay, should I actually go home? Should I quit and go back to California? I was in Oklahoma in a different state. Um, I barely got kicked in the ground for the first time as an adult because you know that's how life is and I was just like what the hell should I do but I said you know what the hell I'm not gonna quit it's only six weeks and then I can get through those six weeks finish out the program and I have a job a, a secure career you know and that's pretty much what I did I didn't listen to him I said no nah, fuck that we're gonna get through this and I did and I got a job before that guy and then when I was in that job, I actually got promoted before him and I got my a certification that paid me more money before him. And isn't that crazy? He told me to quit. And if that would have happened to him, he would have quit. Most people would quit if that happened to them. Actually, I saw many kids uh, from that exact school finished out way before me, six weeks prior to me. I got a job before all of them. And that is the difference between people that quit and don't quit. If you quit on eBay when it gets hard, you're not gonna know what would have been if you don't go through it. You're gonna get kicked down no matter what you do literally 30 times and you have to be ready for it and keep moving forward because if you just stay down and you just quit and go on to the next thing, like you're never gonna get to that level. You're never gonna get to any kind of level. A lot of people are telling me to quit and they literally don't know that it takes time to build something. I literally completely transformed the way I do things on my eBay business and People are telling me to quit because I'm not getting the results within a month. That's not even in my brain to quit. I'm not even wired that way whatsoever. Like I will never quit. What I will do is pivot and change because obviously the electronic stuff or the way I was doing things didn't work. I will pivot and change, but I will never quit. I want you guys to keep moving forward. If there's someone in your circle that is telling you to quit, don't listen to them. There's something in your brain for a reason. There's an image in your brain of what you want to do and that image is real and all you have to do is go for it and don't listen to anyone along the way only listen to constructive criticism from people that you would want to be in their place that people that are already at a higher place than you but don't listen to the people that are at your level your classmates your friends the people that you grew up with don't listen to them because they're if you want to switch places with them i wouldn't take advice from them and that's what i've been doing lately and then that has changed everything i stopped hanging out with the people i used to hang out with I, I, the people I hang around with are completely different than a year or two ago. There is something in your brain that is telling you this will work. There's something in your brain that, that is telling you that this is the way, 
listen to that thing in your brain. Don't quit. Don't listen to the naysayers. Don't listen to the people that are telling you that eBay is dumb, that it's not a real job. Um, I Don't ever listen to them. Do what you do. And if something isn't working, pivot and change and keep growing. If I would have listened to that guy that told me to quit, I would have never gotten that job. I would have never learned, gotten the experience. And right now I have that certification. And literally, like I said, I got a job for him and he had told me to quit. He would have been home already, right? Like, come on now. And uh, that goes with, if I were to listen to someone that in the comments or something that tells me to quit, I know for a fact, guys, in a couple of months, everyone's gonna be asking how I'm doing it. But really, I'm showing you guys how I'm doing it. Everyone, and, and in a couple months, everyone's gonna be asking me how I did it. First, they call you crazy, and then they ask how you did it. I wanna interrupt the video really quickly, guys. I am doing a giveaway for this Budweiser jacket. It's a NASCAR one. And it's about $160. I, wait, all you have to do to enter to win is follow my Instagram, Active Apparel Zone, on Instagram, and that's literally it. And one of my followers will get it, so enter to win. But yeah, guys, in order to get to a higher level while you're trying to grow something, while you're trying to build something, you will go through adversity. It's gonna be hard. I've never seen a single person ever uh, within YouTube or people that I've met that are successful in life have ever just had an easy path to success. It's always hard. They always went through hardship. Stuff, hap stuff happens in business, stuff happens in your personal life, and you have to learn how to maneuver that, keep going no matter what people say, and just stick to your gut, feeling that it's gonna work, and it will work. Like, I want you guys to succeed. I wanna succeed. I want us all to succeed on this YouTube channel, guys. Yeah, guys, don't listen to the naysayers. Don't listen to the people that are trying to bring you down. It could be people that you literally grew up with your entire life. People always want you to do good, but they never wanna see you do better than them. Remember that. Stick to it, be consistent, work hard, and don't stop. Let's get it.